Okay, I don't have a dash cam, so I've got my Canon camera up on a tripod. But this is my three mile journey to, uh, to where the horses live. My horse, Lee, plus uh, the three horses that I feed for someone else. So, here we go. Be nice if I had a dash cam, but there's so many things it would be nice if I had. I'm pretty exhausted from uh, all that uh, sh snow shoveling this morning. Hauling my snow blower out. It's an exhausting uh, experience for this old man here. But this is a typical journey that I make every day out to the horse farm. And uh, guy up ahead makes a little money plowing out driveways. I should probably hire him, eh? <laughs> well. So it's not real far. It's only three miles to the horse farm. This is the area I've been living in most of my life. Uh, I've lived in Little Prairie, Wisconsin uh, for the last 24 years, but I've lived in this area for most of my life. Did a little moving around until I bought my house in uh, Little Prairie. really nice out here in the summertime. Not too built up. Houses go in here, here and there, but uh, the building frenzy of developing every farm field that the uh, developers can get their hands on isn't real bad here, although a lot of places have been built up, but not bad. When I was a kid out in this area, most of this area was operating family farms. And uh, that was really nice. There's a lot less traffic on the roads because there were a lot less housing developments, uh, little suburbs being built up here and there. I call uh, some of them uh, cornfield mansions. There aren't that many cornfield mansions right here. And here we are at the uh, corner of Betts Road and Scout Road. still in the Kettle Moraine area. I did a lot of horse riding around in, in this area through my life, all the way back to the 1960s. I hope they uh, plowed out where I'm going. If they didn't, it might be a little bit tough uh, going in and out, maybe not.
almost there. I don't know, I've been in the car for maybe uh, going on three minutes, four minutes. It's just a three, four minute drive away. I don't know, th three miles, can I drive a mile a minute? I guess I can. <laughs> We lived out in this area back in the 1960s. In fact, the property that I'm going to, my parents and I lived on that property for a while in the 60s. There was uh, no no extra houses out here. This road was very quiet. Not a lot of traffic. Here we are at the horse farm. That big house that uh, went by the screen there, that was the house that my parents and I lived in for a short while after I got out of the service. Had this place to myself. Had my horse back here. I was the only horse here <laughs> was my horse. And here we are at the horse farm. Whoops. Well, we didn't like that part of it. So I have feed for Regal, big girl, and here's JD with his uh, special treat right in the middle for his arthritis. So we'll get these in the stalls. So I'm going to go out and get the horses. There's uh, JD, here's Regal, hope I can hold this camera steady enough. Here comes Lee, Regal has to come in first, and there's Lee. My friend Laura is going to make sure he goes into his stall, and here's Big Girl. Thank you, Laura. Normally, I make sure Lee goes into his stall because uh, he likes to uh, bypass it and either go in the big girl's stall to eat her feed or steal uh, JD's feed. Oh. That's uh, Greta over there, isn't it? All screaming over there. Yeah, here's my big horse, Aru. <laughs> He's eating his uh, feed. Big girl, she likes to tease me. And here's, here's JD, who has arthritis. Hi, JD. Oh, look at you. I've got your ear. Lee. My big horse. Yeah, my big baby. Well, that's about it. So they're, they're all back out to the herd now. My horse, you can't see him, he's all the way up in there, but... That's it. <laughs>